Let's take a look at the new Tentacle Sync E timecode generators. First question for those not familiar with timecode, what is timecode and why would you want to use it? Timecode allows you to record your cameras and audio recorders separate from each other, and then sync the video and audio clips in post with a simple click of a button. For it to work, you must record timecode to each camera and audio recorder. But most cameras and consumer grade recorders don't have clocks that are accurate enough. You generally need a small external timecode generator for each of the devices. These are small boxes with highly accurate clocks that can connect to your camera or recorder. The Tentacle Sync E is one such timecode generator. In this case with the Sync E, you connect via cable for about one second to sync one clock to another. You do this for all of the time code generators you're going to use, one for each device. Then you attach them to your cameras and audio recorders. Some pro-level audio recorders have built-in time code generators, so you don't need a sync key for them. They already have one built in, in essence. Then you shoot as normal. Here we shot a little project with two different cameras and an audio recorder. I used a GH5 and an Ursa Mini Pro as my cameras, and I used my sound device's MixPre 10T as the audio recorder. Because the sound device's MixPre 10T has a built-in timecode generator, I just needed two sync keys, one for each of the cameras. So, the first thing I did was connect the sync keys each to the sound device's MixPre 10T so that they all had the exact same time running on them. Then I connected the sync keys to each of my cameras. In the case of the Panasonic GH5, it doesn't have a dedicated timecode input, so instead I used the microphone input. So what's happening here, in essence, is that the timecode generator, the sync key, is actually writing an audio signal to the camera that gets recorded with the video. And that audio signal is actually timecode. Then on my Ursa Mini Pro, it does have a dedicated timecode input. So what happens there is the camera reads the signal that's being sent by the sync key and converts it into a timestamp that it bakes into the video recorded file. Then once I've downloaded all my footage, I just drop them all into the Tentacle Sync Studio export an XML file and open it in Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro 10. Let's just show you that really quickly here. So here I have my audio clips, my camera A, which was the Ursa Mini Pro, and camera B, which was the Panasonic GH5. I just grab that whole folder and drop it over here. And you can see here in Tentacle Sync Studio, it actually read the information on each of the files. So here's the audio file and it says, oh, we have file time code. That's time code that's stamped into the metadata of the file. That's because, again, the MixPre 10T has a built-in timecode generator. On the Ursa Mini Pro, because it has a dedicated timecode input, it also has what's called file timecode. And you can see here that this camera was actually started about, let's see, 11, 15, 25, 26 seconds after the audio recorder was. Then for our Panasonic GH5, which was our B camera, essentially, we actually notice here that the file timecode is not anywhere close to the time code on the audio file or the video file from the Ursa Mini Pro. But on the audio time code, you can see this is close. This is what was written to the audio recording track on the Panasonic GH5. And Tentacle Sync Studio can read that audio and say, oh, this is time code. We're gonna use this to sync these three. Now, because I did a multi-camera shoot, I just make sure that I have this multi-cam mode checked down here. And then I click the sync map button and watch what happens. Boom, they're all synced up. And if I scrub through, you can see here, did a little clap here just to demonstrate that we are in sync. Let's watch this and make sure. This is our timecode demonstration. Let's do a clap here just to make sure that it's synced up okay. Uh, so I can also switch between the cameras just to make sure they're both in sync. Here we go. With one of the tentacle syncs attached to it, we have a second camera right here. This is the Panasonic GH5. It has a tentacle attached to its audio input. In the case of the Ursa, it has its a dedicated BNC uh, timecode input, so it's actually recording the timecode to the file metadata, whereas in the case of the GH5 here, it's actually recording to an audio track. And then once we bring that into Tentacle Sync Studio. That looks great. Let's go ahead and export it. So in this case, I'm going to take it into Final Cut Pro 10. You could also do a similar thing with Premiere Pro, but I'm gonna click on this XML export button right here. I'm gonna make sure it says include synced clips. And in my case, again, I'm using the latest version of Final Cut Pro. So I'm gonna choose Final Cut Pro 10.3, just like that. 
Um, the project frame rate was 23.98 in this case, and it was shot at UHD 3840-2160, and the audio was at 48 kilohertz. So I'll go ahead and give this a name. We'll just call this Multicam. We'll save it. Looks like it was successful. Then we'll come here into Final Cut, and let's import that XML file. Import XML. There it is right there. And it looks like it imported it. So now I have my camera A and my camera B. Now what I can demonstrate here, let's just get the camera A and the camera B, which again, already have the audio synced up to them. We'll right click, choose new multicam clip. And we'll just call this our multicam clip, simply enough. We will go ahead and tell it to use audio for synchronization to sync these two together. And go ahead and click OK. So here's our new multicam clip down in our timeline now. Let's just play a little bit of it here. This is our time code demonstration. Let's get, we can get rid of all that header. We don't need that. Now, if I come up here to view, show in viewer angles, you can see we have the two different angles. Now, what I want to do is I'm using the audio that's already been synced to both of them from the separate audio clip. So I'm going to make sure I have this selected here so when I cut back and forth, the audio will be continuous. Let's see what we get. This is our time code demonstration. Let's do a clap here just to make sure that it's synced up okay. Uh, so our primary camera back here we have is the Ursa Mini Pro with one of the tentacle syncs attached to it. We have a second camera right here. This is the Panasonic GH5. It has a tentacle attached to its audio input. In the case of the Ursa, it has its a dedicated BNC uh, timecode input, so it's actually recording the timecode to the file metadata, whereas in the case of the GH5 here, it's actually recording to an audio track, and then once we bring that into Tentacle Sync Studio on the Mac, um, that will take the audio track that records the timecode as an audio signal, convert it to timecode in the file, and then it will be able to sync all these up, of course, on the record. Okay, you get the idea there. So you can see we've already come in, and that was very quick to get into the editing process. The whole process of syncing didn't slow us down. And you might have the question, well, that's great if you have two cameras and a single audio clip. That's pretty straightforward. What if you have 400 of these? <laughs> and there actually is a demonstration. I'll link to that previous video where we had a whole bunch of different cameras and a whole bunch of different audio clips. And you can sync those up just as quickly. It may take a little longer to export all of them, but it also does it very, very quickly. Much quicker than you could do it manually, by far. I bought the original Tentacle Sync uh, about a year and a half or two years ago, which has been a really effective, tiny, simple tool to use. And the Sync E is a new version, which Tentacle was kind enough to send me for this review. And they really kind of carried a lot of the benefits of the Tentacle Sync forward and refined it a little bit. So. To really kind of highlight those refinements, let me first explain that there are several things you must set correctly or ensure are consistent between your camera and your timecode generators for timecode to work. Otherwise, it won't work. First of all, you have to have the output level on your timecode generator set correctly. You have to have your frames per second set consistently between your camera and the timecode generator. So for example, if you're shooting at 23.98, then you wanna make sure your timecode generators are also set to that. You need, of course, continuous power to your timecode generator and a solid connection between your timecode generator and the cameras or audio recorders so that it provides a continuous signal throughout the entire shoot. Now that sounds a little bit silly, kind of like, duh, yeah, of course. <laughs> but if one of those is not working or set correctly, then the automated sync won't work and you have to resort to manual syncing. But the Synky really helps you do these things um, in a couple of different ways. First of all, you need a battery that will power your time code generator for the full length of your production, or you need some way to know that things are low and you can replace them. The Tentacle Sinky in my tests have lasted well over 25 hours. They're rated by the manufacturer at up to 35 hours. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, but definitely at 25 hours plus with 30% remaining, which is what I found in my tests, you could easily get through two full production days. So that's fantastic. So you don't really have to, as long as you're charged up beforehand, you don't have to worry about swapping these out mid-shoot. And the great thing is it only takes about an hour and a half to charge them up with the included USB-C to USB-A cable. So you just plug it into any USB outlet and you can charge it up in about an hour and a half. 
And in fact, if you were in the middle of a shoot and at lunchtime, you had a little while to charge things up, you could almost get a full charge during lunch. One really nice feature is it comes with these clips to keep the cable from pulling out of the Sinky. It also comes with the 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter cables for connecting to most DSLRs and hybrid cameras. And then of course, in the aftermarket, you can purchase cables that will allow you to connect to pretty much any camera. And if, for example, with my Ursa Mini Pro, it has a BNC input for timecode. So I have this 3.5 millimeter to BNC cable. One really nice thing is that it also has this hook and eye tape integrated into the back of the Sinky. And it comes with the other side with some adhesive on the back of it to attach to your rig, whether that be to your battery or perhaps to the camera cage, whatever it may be. But that makes it really easy to secure the Sinky to your rig so it's not flopping around or getting in the way. Also, it comes with multiple color bands that you put on the Sinky so you can kind of tell them apart at a glance. But the big new feature on the Sinky is the ability to change its settings and monitor its battery and sync status wirelessly via Bluetooth on both iOS and Android. Note that at a glance, you can confirm that the three most important things for working time code are in order. Number one, your tentacles are all in sync with each other. Number two, that they have enough battery. And three, that they are set to the right frame rate. This is really nice because when they didn't interact wirelessly with an app on your phone in the olden days, so to speak, it was a much bigger job just to make sure that they were all working together and that everything was in good shape to have a good solid time code workflow. So for example, if one of your Sinkies are out of sync with the others, the app shows that at a glance, it's really nice. Also, if the Sinky comes unplugged from the camera recorder, it can also tell that and it will report that in the app as well. So you can make sure you don't have those onset uh, during production day issues where accidentally something gets up unplugged and you don't realize until you're in post and production is already wrapped up. The app also allows you to wirelessly change all the settings for each of the Sinky units. So you can change, for example, the output level between mic and line level, depending on your camera. So for example, if you're going to the GH5, you'll want that set to mic level. If you're going into a camera that has a dedicated time code input, you'll want to change that to line level. You can change the frame rate, the auto power off time, the auto mic level. Incidentally, the Sinky has an inbuilt microphone so that when you are recording to DSLRs or hybrid cameras that have 3.5 millimeter stereo inputs, what happens is that the time code gets recorded to the left channel and the audio, scratch audio, that's captured with the microphone on the Sinky gets recorded to the right channel, which is really nice if for some reason something goes wrong with a time code, then you have a scratch audio track that you can use to do the sync manually. There are some additional settings you can make via the app, like the user bits, date format, and you can give each of the tentacles a custom name and an icon so you can quickly identify them in the app, which is really nice as well. Now, a big question, of course, when you're using time code generators is how accurate are they? And in our tests, after 10 hours, the Tentacle Sync E and my Sound Devices Mix Pre 10T were still in sync. They had not drifted even a single frame, which is really nice. Often on long production days, you would normally sync the time code generators at the start of the shoot and again at lunchtime. But with the accuracy I'm seeing here, I pretty much feel comfortable syncing just at the start of the day for my work, where the productions are generally up to 12 hours max, usually shorter than that. In terms of ordering the Tentacle Sync and its price, right now it's priced at 450 euros approximately. And uh, in US terms, that's going to be $519 for a set of two or $289 for a single Tentacle Sync E. So it seems to me like a, this is one of the more aggressively priced time code generators available on the market. And from my experience with the original Tentacle Sync, um, this is going to be every bit as reliable and every bit as effective in having a tiny little time code generator that most camera operators aren't going to balk at putting on our camera rig. <laughs> and that is a very realistic consideration when you're using time code generators. If you're acting as a sound guy and there's a director of photography, if you come up with a big metal box that they have to attach to their rig, they're going to be a little bit maybe not happy. And having this tiny little tentacle sink uh, makes it a pretty easy self. So for them, it's not like you're adding a bunch of weight, especially, for example, if they're flying the camera on a gimbal. Um, they're not going to want to add a lot of weight. And the Tentacle Sync has never posed that problem for me. I've never had a director of photography say to me, no, that I, it's just too much. It's too complicated. I'm not going to attach it to my rig. So I hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. And we will talk to you again soon. Mm -hmm.